Let's start with your reading, Sagittarius. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. Keep in mind that the energies do go both ways, so feel free to interpret the messages as it best resonates with your own personal situation. Also, if you need a personal reading, keep in mind that I'm selecting people for free personal readings, so just keep watching to know how to get selected. Now, let's see what messages we have for you. Let's start from your main energy. Okay. So the energy at the bottom of the deck is the one of the two of swords. And what I see right here is that you are trying to make a decision. You're trying to commit to one specific choice so that you can finally move on, move forward into a situation where you clearly want to move on from. Right here, I see that what is taking, oh, speaking of moving on, eight of cups, ten of swords. I felt that that two of swords was about moving on. And here we're definitely getting the confirmation on, on all of this. We see how you are in a situation where you have definitely been taken for granted. The six of pentacles reversed talks about that, talks about how much you have been giving to this person, to this situation, yet you have seen very little coming back to you. And this is something that you don't want to deal with any longer. When you are with someone who has this Six of Pentacles reverse energy, you really feel like you are somehow wasting precious time, precious energy, wasting your love. And overall, it doesn't make you feel good. Right here, there might have been times where you asked for help, where you asked for this person to just listen to you and to just make things better, to work together on improving the situation. But overall, you felt as though you were the only one really putting in real effort. Right here, we have times where maybe you were right next to this person, yet you felt lonely, you felt alone, as though you were the, the only person in that room. Right here, you just want someone with a more generous mindset, someone who's not too focused on themselves, but someone who does things for the sake of the relationship, just like you do. You are definitely a generous person and you are idealistic. You have a specific idea, a specific vision, and then you play by that idea. You follow it, you follow through, and you do everything that you can in order to make sure that the situation is successful and that the other person is happy. Therefore, you need to find someone who thinks the same way. Otherwise, you end up with people who potentially can take advantage of you. And we see that right here, even though this is the right thing to do, it puts you in a position where you have difficulties, where you feel maybe some pain, although you know that you have to move forward and that you can find much better, you're still experiencing pain and this is not something that you deserve at all. But right here, I see you considering the correct option, Sagittarius. This full card really talks about what you should do at this moment in time. With a fool, you let go of everything in one second. You don't think about it. You just do it. Because if you really think about it, now you start uh, realizing that you don't know what comes next, that you are in an unknown situation because you're leaving something behind, but you don't know where you're going next. You are seeing that cliff. That view right there is absolutely beautiful, but it's scary at the same time. The fool decides to jump, even though there is nothing underneath, the fool doesn't know how it's going to land safely, but he knows that eventually while he's falling, he will learn how to fly. So it's definitely something that requires a leap of faith. 
And overall, it requires a very positive mindset, which you have. You just need to get out of a situation where the overall energies instead brought you down and made you get out of your usual energy, your usual positive and fiery energy that you have. Right here, we see that the direction that you want to go towards is the sun, is back to your original energy, back to your original element. And this is exactly what you deserve and what you are going to receive and have. As long as you go through the full, that is the key. That is the fundamental step that you have to take in order to get here. There is something in your immediate future which talks about going back to happiness, being happy again, feeling that joy and love that you maybe felt initially with this person. And regardless of who you're going to feel it with, it's here. It's coming towards you as long as you do the right thing right here. With the Two of Swords, you're still thinking about it. It's not as easy as just talking about it in a tarot video. It's It definitely requires a lot of strength, a lot of effort. And those times where maybe you feel a little bit weaker and lonely, you end up thinking about this person again. You end up thinking about those happy times together that really defined some of the most beautiful moments in your life. And so I completely understand that it's not easy, but it's also not easy because we have a tendency to think that those moments are unique. They happen in the past, they will never happen in the future. And even if we think about the possibility for them to happen, the full energy is there to tell you, but you don't know. That's the unknown. You have no idea what's coming next. And so what do you do? Back to what we were saying earlier. You take that leap of faith because especially in your situation, this leap of faith is taking you towards the sun. It's taking you towards this nine of cups. There is something that is really exciting coming towards you. I feel that right now you might be having a hard time overall, but you have to look forward to the future because this Nine of Cups talks about a wish coming true, a dream fin finally manifested, something that will give you extreme happiness and something that potentially can be life-changing. There is something here that you waited and waited and waited for a long time. And perhaps that's what you're doing right now at this moment, waiting for this to happen. And here you have it coming true for you. So what I would advise you to do right now is definitely to be your best friend, to be um, advising yourself as you would advise someone who you love a friend, a family member, someone who's going through a hard time and you know that there will be few simple things that they could do in order to get through this time, especially knowing what's coming ahead for you, this should be definitely a good reason, motivation, in order to keep going and make the right decision. There is definitely something right here which talks about moving forward. And if you do that, you're definitely able to get exactly where you want to be, Sagittarius. And so let's see what's coming towards you. Let's get more details about the sun, about this nine of cups, especially. You're moving forward. Let's see what you're finding. what oh my god this is definitely surprising and the reason why it's surprising to me it's that you know you are going forward but you'll find yourself back to this situation it's almost like you're walking around the world right just imagine the world being very small and you're here and you're moving forward. But what you don't know is that you are actually going back, coming back 
to the first initial situation. Why do I say this? There is someone here who, see, the hangman wants to reveal itself. There is someone stuck. That is not you. Someone is seeing you moving forward, leaving. And instead of just feeling okay with the situation and moving on as well, they feel heartbroken. Right here we see someone who initially was acting very distant. And maybe they have been harsh with you, saying things that were absolutely awful, being selfish. Again, this King of Swords to me represents the person you were dealing with, being selfish, taking you for granted, not showing you the love and the passion, the fire that you absolutely deserve. And right now, it feels like they're paying the consequences for their own actions. Swords, swords. You see this person being this way with the King of Swords in the past, now being heartbroken, and eventually another Swords card coming towards you fast. Fast. Not even thinking about how silly they could look, they could appear to you after all they have done, now coming back to you with... A urge, a need to connect with you. They don't care. They just need to come towards you and tell you something. Page of Wands, Six of Cups. We see that this message that you're going to receive while you have walked away and you have started finding happiness, it's going to be about someone who misses you. Someone who cannot take it anymore, who cannot be away from you anymore. And this is kind of funny and kind of weird as well because you have finally moved on, but there is something that keeps you connected to this specific situation. And I definitely want to understand why that is. So let's see what's coming ahead then. Let's see the Page of Swords just fell on the floor this person has been spying on you and they perhaps are seeing that now you have fully moved on and they feel that they really lost you right now i think that might have been a trigger for all of this energy that we see down here so let's flip the reading and let's see how this person is feeling i want to see how they feel, what they think, their intentions, and what they want to tell you here with the Page of Wands. Let's see what's coming up from this person and how and if is going to impact your journey towards the sun. Let's see what's coming up and how the situation is going to transform in the near and distant future as well. If you want to dive deeper into the messages, just follow me in the extended video link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every week, I randomly select viewers that have watched the extended video to offer them a free personal 30-minute reading. I send out emails every Monday morning. Make sure to check out your spam folder as well. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading. So, Sagittarius, here we have seen a situation that initially has seen you struggling over... Uh, choice deciding to move forward deciding to let go and we see here that it was definitely complicated because when you have that overall devil energy you have those chains and something keeps you connected to a situation to a person to an overall energy and it's not easy to get out of this but you have the strength you have everything that it takes in order to let go of something that is toxic for you and focus on your happiness. The fool right here talking about exactly what we seen a few minutes ago, taking that leap of faith. The biggest issue that we might be seeing right here is the unknown. It's not knowing what comes next, but if you have faith, and if you trust what the cards are telling you, you're going to be able to do this and you're going to be able to find happiness. Now, while you're going through your own chapter and your journey, we see how this person at the end of it, right when you're about to completely and fully let go 100%, 
they try to pull you back in. And there is a message here that you are going to receive from this person. We see the content, but let's focus on the details. Let's start with clarifying the page of wands and the six of cups, and then we will see what the events that you have upcoming in the near future are going to be. Let's start with the page of wands and six of cups. The lovers, the first card. Look at that. And the six of pentacles now upright. All right. This is going to be exciting. So what this person...